In this lesson, let's go and learn about the Kotlin constructor, which is a primary constructor and a secondary constructor. So in Kotlin, there is two types of constructor. One is a primary constructor and a secondary constructor. So let's go and look at a primary constructor first. So to create a primary constructor, by default, when we create a class over here, we have created a class of a card. And actually there is a constructor, but let's say a constructor is there. But we, when we are not passing any argument or a parameter, we don't have any parameter over here. We are not setting any parameter over here. That's why this has become optional. So we can actually remove this one. But if you want to pass some kind of uh, parameter over here, then we have to make use of a constructor over here. And let's make use of a, let's create a caller over here. And that's of a string data type. And also we will create our same of an engine number. Just copy and paste it over here. And that's of our in data type. And finally, we have our CC over here. Let's make of a CC and that's of a string data type, right? So we have a three parameter over here and we have make use of a primary constructor. So now we can say we have a primary constructor, which is taking our three parameter of color, engine number and a CC. But if you notice that if we don't have this one, then we don't have to explicitly write a constructor over here. But we, when we want to pass some parameter, then we have to make use of a constructor. Now, what we can do is we can actually go back to our class that we created. One is a Ford and another one is of Toyota. So now it's taking a parameter. So like uh, on the previous lesson, we have learned about the function that's, that, is, that was taking some kind of parameter and we have to pass some argument. So similarly here, we need to pass a uh, value for our parameter which is of cc color and engine number so let's pass it so first one is a color so that's of a string and we will just pass it as a red just copy and paste it and the second parameter that's of our integer engine number we'll just copy this and just paste it over here and the third parameter that we have to pass is of cc so just copy this one and paste it over here so now we have passed a three parameter and uh, now we can remove this one actually. We don't have to set it. And uh, we will do the same thing for our Toyota class over here or uh, object over here. And first is a red. Just copy and paste it over here. And of let's say this one, which is of our engine number of integer data type. And the last one is of a CC. Just copy and paste it over here. Now we can remove this one. And uh, if you go to this car class, now here we are passing a three parameter. And instead of this empty string, now we can say that this is of color. And of this is of engine number. And the final one is of CC. Just copy this one. And paste it over here. Now we have a color, engine number, and CC. That's we are getting the value from our constructor parameter, which is of three type. And in here, what we will do is we are just printing out that value. So let's run the our application one more time. And let's go to the run over here. And let's clear it out, this one, all of this. And let me run one more time. And now if you see over here, you can see the system that print out is red. And the same parameter value that we pass are printing over here. So that's a good thing that we have make use of a primary constructor. And we can still reform, reformat this code to a much readable one. Since we are passing a parameter over here, and this is a variable color, engine number, and a CC. Now, currently, this is a, the parameter that we are creating over here. The variable that we are creating is a number variable. It's 
it's another property so if you see this is our property that we will which we are accessing down over here but if we create a normal variable over here we cannot access down the value over here and for that what we can do is we can just make use of a variable of a val and we can just comment this one out first just comment all of these properties that we have sorry and now we will just make use of a direct constructor property over here and say as a val so now we is now we have a created a variable of a color engine number and cc this cc should be passed over here and that's it so we have access to that variable in our info function over here and uh, you can also call it using uh, this keyword by explicit dimension or else you can just directly call it as the color that's then that will not make any difference because we only have one variable which is color over here and uh, we can also make it as a private but now let's leave it as a default for now and just let us run this application one more time if you see the printout we are getting a same printout so it doesn't change anything so that's uh, how we create a primary constructor as well as uh, we create a property directly in our constructor so that's that that's making our code much readable so we don't have a messy code like a line of code over here we are just directly mentioning it in our constructor so that's a great thing we have uh, beautify our one of the code which makes more readable so i think uh, that's all for this lesson on our next lesson let's go and learn about the secondary constructor in kotlin so i will see you in the next video till then have a great day